hello guys how are you doing welcome back today is uh, 26 december 2020 my time here is six o'clock in the morning so wherever you are good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time of the day i really don't know where to begin or how to start but it has become clear that these criminals we call our leaders no longer hide their criminal activities the images you are seeing there, the pictures you are seeing on your screen right now are COVID-19 palliatives, all right? But um, the chief of staff to Governor Emmanuel Udum of Akwaibum State, I'm talking about Mr. Inyangeye, on told they shared the COVID-19 palliatives that were meant for the vulnerable to the poor all right during the COVID-19 um, stay at home all right the first wave because as I'm talking to you it's like um, we have entered the second wave of coronavirus and some state has already enforced some kind of lockdown so on Thursday Ms. Inyangaye had to share COVID-19 palliatives as Christmas gift to PDP supporters in his local government. So now we have come to realize it is not about APC. It is not about PDP, all right? It is not. But these men that we voted, that we elected into office seems to, um, you know, carry out their criminal activity openly without any fear of God. How will you share a COVID-19? Look at, look at the COVID-19 palliative. This man ha had to hide personally. One person keep for himself. On Christmas Day, you had to share a COVID-19 palliative. We are not on lockdown so far. So this means this COVID-19 palliative it is not about acquire it is not about cross river it is not about god it's about the people we elect looking at this old man look at him you can see his face very innocent but dangerous how do you tell people that covid 19 palliatives that were meant for the people what is it doing in your house all right so let me give you um, a, a quick breakdown of um this man's uh, history, Mr. Yangaye, hails from Ikode Biere of Ona local government area, the same local government of Udom Imandwa. Okay. Now, speaking um, with correspondent on condition of um, anonymity, a middle aged man said he was shocked when he was told that he will not be given palliative if he doesn't show his card as a PDP member. So, um, it is only for PDP members, okay? He had to share it to PDP uh, supporters. So despite the fact that they gave our COVID-19 palliative, the man said, we were told to show our PDP membership card or forget about the Christmas gift. Some of my friends, according to the man, he said, some of my friends that presented their PDP membership card were given the COVID-19 palliative as Christmas gift. While we didn't receive anything because they said we are members of opposition party. He further condemned the act and called on the Nigerians to hold their leaders accountable because some of the COVID-19 palliatives are still with them despite the hunger in the country. All right. So that is what we are seeing. That is what is going on in Nigeria. We should be able to elect a leader. A trusted leader not just anybody because you are giving 5,000 naira to you know to sell your vote this is what is going on it is not about PDP we should realize that this has nothing to do with political party PDP seems to be uh, pretending as if they are sent APC on the other hand uh, seems to carry themselves as if they are sent but no, look at what somebody is doing. A COVID-19 palliative that are meant for the people. The man had to keep it for himself, shared it to PDP members in his own local government. So, let me know what you guys think. 
quickly wanted to update you guys on this and also ask for your opinion let me know what you think on the comment section below see you guys in another video